Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing our first modification to our new 2022 Toyota Supra. Something that, honestly, these cars should have come with from the factory. But luckily, P3 Gauges has the answer. Let's hop into the car. Let's install this. It's going to be a really fast, short video because, honestly, this thing is going to be a super easy install. But we're going to take it on the road, too, and show you the functionality. All right, so starting off in the Supra, I love this car, the way it's set up from the factory. It's loaded with tech and everything but being a turbocharged car i mean honestly like why do we not have a boost gauge though i mean i might be nitpicking but i don't think that i am now, luckily p3 gauges has the answer so this is going to be my third time running one of their gauges and they're flawless so this one's really small though so this is a piece of it i gotta take this off <gasps> i dropped it we'll find that little piece and definitely need that for later for the install by the way before we actually get started whatever you see in this video check out the video descriptions down below and go check these out so i'll link all the details and the links and everything to p3 gauges down below in the description because they don't just make these for the toyota supra ran them in the past so i had it on a mustang and a camaro but they make them for trucks and other high-end cars i mean their list is huge they make them for about everything out there so what they do is they plug into your obd2 port you don't really have to do any wiring you just plug them up and they display a whole bunch of functionality whatever your obd2 port will allow you to see different pits so okay so like iat boost vacuum they've got zero to 60 timers there's a whole bunch of functionality things like rpm shift light exhaust gas temperature like that's pretty uh important in a turbo car important air fuel ratio so we got boost reference we have ethanol sensor we have our controller box they've sent me all kinds of stuff we have we have air fresheners that's awesome and then we have the gauge itself i really wanted this for boost reference because it's going to be in my line of sight so i want something that i could easily see going down the road and that i can touch and play with in my line of sight this gauge is going to be right here it's going to sit right here and we do have to drill a little small hole we're going to cover that in a second definitely go check out p3 gauges youtube channel they have a really good how-to install on these on the toyota supra so getting started it's going to be really easy but so get you a prime tool and come in here and you're gonna get this section loose there's four clips that are holding it in a little clip right here where is the thing so this comes out it just basically slides out you don't have to like you don't have to press anything anywhere it just kind of slides out but it is a pain in the butt so we'll set this to the side and then we've got looks like a t20 or t25 let's find out i bet it's a t20 t20 there's the married match right there so t20 one and two so when we run a JB4, if that's what we decide to go with on this car for tuning, let me find it. All right, so there's our ethanol sensor. So they make all kinds of different accessories too that plug up uh, and monitor different things like, uh, again, your EGTs and then ethanol sensor. Uh, this is something that we're gonna have to put into the engine bay. This is a boost tap for this specific engine. With this one being a 2022, we can't really just, you know, tune these. We have to run like a, a piggyback tune, like a JB4. This will work out of the box based off of the readings that come out of your obd2 port but in my case if we run a piggyback tune we have to use that port so what do we do and then that's where this is going to come into into play so so with this and with this right here this is an electronic boost sensor it operates just like a pressure uh switch it gives an electronic signal to the boost gauge but we can use this as like a mechanical with a digital display boost gauge as well which is what we're going to have to do when we run a jb4 but this is going to slide out that came out real Real easy. I think we have to depress a tab in the center. There it comes. Okay, perfect. Because of the location, there's no hole for the ethernet cord basically to pass through. All right, so we're gonna drill. You see where this actually starts to come down right here? We're gonna go right up through there from the bottom. So we're gonna be very careful not to go through our A-pillar here. Pretty self-explanatory. These kind of clip together and this wire, this data cable actually goes through one of the vent holes on your OEM vent and then this whole contraption clips together. Okay, pass our data cable through our new hole. Then you'll take your little Pac-Man thing here. You can see how it's kind of tapered. So you want that to sink down. This is gonna be a plug for the new hole that we just drilled. That way it keeps the air working like it's supposed to. So that's a perfect fit, which is exactly what we want. Now there's a little resistance coming down. That's good. That means things are gonna be sealed up so that your defrost will work like it's supposed to clips down perfect and it's got a protective film on it i'm gonna rip that off perfect look how good this fits it's got a nice like oem look to it 
That's so sick. Very cool to actually see this in my line of sight. All right, so let's get it finished up and then we'll go on a little test drive and show you how everything works. Click in, so you see boost. We got an ethanol reading. So that's something we're definitely gonna be taking advantage of when we tune this vehicle, is running an ethanol blend with the ethanol sensor that they sent us so that we can actually see the percentage. You got speedometer, battery. This also works as a shift light. So I've got it set up to about 6,500 RPM. Now I've already been playing with this at nighttime and it kind of flashes. Continue on oil, temperature, IETs, timing, throttle response, AFR, something you definitely want to pay attention to. It's also got that zero to 60 timer. So if you're running a draggy, you can certainly do that or you can just use this gauge as well. All right, a little POV action here on the road. I love how small this is. It's not uh, impeding my view in any way. I've got clear view of this thing in my line of sight, which is so sick this thing looks oem and it really should have been this this car should have come with a gauge like this from the factory at least to be able to monitor the boost but now we have a really intuitive design that sits over here that's not in the way and we can see all of our different pits we can scroll through also it has peak readout so i'm going to test this out in just a second up here let's hit this straight away i'm putting it in sport mode let's put it into sports we've got sport plus it did a little coating all right let's give it a little quick send See how it flashed? Okay, now we click on the left button and it shows our peak readout for boost. So now we can see our IETs. Turbo cars love to be around the ambient temperature. Now we're back to boost. Let's give it another send. There we go. All right, now we can click left button and it shows our peak boost right there. Pretty sick, pretty handy. All right, test drive over. I think that this is a really cool product from P3 Gauges. Again, this is like my third one. They've all got the same kind of like functionality, so lots of accessories that you can hook up to these things as well. So again, check out the links below in the video description to take you to their website. It may be something that you would want to have for your vehicle, but I think that being able to have this on my line of sight and being able to monitor what the engine is doing, different parameters. This might sound like a sales pitch a little bit, but I'm really in love with their products. I think that they're uh, really intuitive, really fancy, really Really clean and OEM looking and I really like them also by the way I forgot to mention this they do clear DCTs as well so if you're modding you run into a check engine light so then you can fix the problem come back to the gauge and you can actually clear that from the PCM which is really really handy so I think it's a little bit more handy it's a little bit more accessible and it's right there again in your line of sight which I think is really dope so anyway if you enjoyed this video please give it a big old thumbs up please subscribe because we have a lot of cool things coming to this toy the super here definitely encourage also again go check out p3 gauges youtube channel so whatever vehicle you have they have installation or they should have installation videos for example like the toyota supra they actually had the dash out of the vehicle and give you a really like in-depth detailed look and an easier step-by-step -step guide on how to actually install on that specific vehicle so i'm sure they have other videos tailored towards whatever vehicle that you may have so, but i digress that's the video hopefully again you enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next one get ready for more mods and until next time be safe on the road god bless all all of you. Goodbye.